Hey everybody, this is West Boss here, and I just got a tweet from this blue man that said, uh, small Friday JavaScript challenge, because I've been doing these challenges on Twitter, and uh, they tweeted one out to everyone, and uh, I thought it'd be kind of fun to actually try one myself rather than making it up, and I thought it'd be fun to uh, sort of record my thought process in, in going through how all this works. So the challenge was, you got this huge list of tube stations, which is a subway, in London, and you've got this word mackerel. Now, they want to filter this list for any words that don't contain any of the letters from mackerel. So if if any of these stations have a letter M, A, C, K, E, R, or L in them, then uh, we need to filter them out. So uh, my th first thought was like, well, maybe I can use some of the new like array methods that we got in ES5 and ES6, but uh, I don't think that those would work out. So my second thought was, uh, oh, this is this is an array, so I'll probably use filter here. So I, I'm going to assume that you you don't know too too much about filter, and I'll just explain my thought process rough on the way through here. So I've got this stations list, and I'm going to run filter on it. And the way that filter works is that uh, you will loop through every item in the array, and it will pass you the individual item. I'm going to call that station. And you either return true if you want it or return, return false if you don't want it. So I'm going to say var or const fish free and console log fish free just to see what we've got here. Obviously, that's going to give us all the stations. And if I return false, it's going to give us none of the stations. So next step, I need to do like a checking for all the stations. I need to check if they contain any of those letters. So. I thought, okay, I could use like dot match. So I would return uh, station dot match, and you can pass match a regular expression, which is sort of like a, a way to match things. And in I thought maybe you could pass it things like if I want to any of the words that contain church, and that is going to return an array of matches if it's true, which is which is also true. And then it's re going to return null if there's no matches, which is false in this case. So here. That gives us all of the stations with church in it. Or if I said like EA, all the stations with an EA in them, there's a couple there. So what you could do here is uh, match for like M, A, C, K, like a mackerel, spend, spell the entire thing out. And that that kind of works there, but um, we can do a, a little bit more uh, of a fun way. So. And, and also, they gave us this, this variable right here, which is a search term. So uh, you'll know that you can't actually put a variable inside of just a regular expression like this. So what we need to do is we need to make a regular expression outside. So we'll say const matcher equals new regular expression. And the first thing you pass it is what you actually want to match for. So we'll do that in a second. And the second one is the, the actual flags that you want. So I want it to be global. I want it to search the entire one. And I also want it to be insensitive, which means that like uh, if we have a lowercase m in macro, but it have an uppercase m on one of these words here, it's still going to actually match it, like in the case of marble arch right here. So what are we going to actually match it with? So you could say A or B or C, and that would give all of them, but I can't just pass it the search term. Why? Because that's going to look for the actual word mackerel inside of it, and, and we need to look for each of the possible letters. So I have the search term here, which is mackerel. How do I? I could split it, and I could join it right again. I could join it with a dash. So what that does is it actually gives us the M or A or C or K. Um, but one cool way we could do, and, and this is sort of like my last video, is we can use the new ES6 spread operator. So what you can do is you say dot, 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 search term. And what that does is it takes every item from your, uh, your string, and it will put it into an item of this new array that we have right there. So dot, 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 search term takes every letter from the word mackerel and puts it into an item. And then we can call join on it. With, you can join it on like anything you want. Oops, you got to actually do your JavaScript right. But we want to join it with a pipe, right? So what we can do is you take, you pipe that right into your regular expression here. 
And it's going to sort of build this regular expression for us with all of the ors done for us. Now, so we've got this matcher, and then we don't no longer have to pass it search term, but we pass it this matcher here. So give that a save. Now, that's a huge list. And the reason is because that those all match, right? And, and the, the thing here said they don't contain the word matcher. Or any of the letters from macro. So what you can do is you pop a quick uh, bang on the front, and that's going to search for. It's gonna if it's true, it's gonna return false. If it's false, it's gonna return true. It'll just return the opposite, and that way our list. There we go. It's down to just one possible item. So that's good. Um, what we could also do with that is uh, wrap them in some paragraph tags. So I'm gonna map right on that. So I have this array and. I'm going to actually bring this back to true because I want an array of uh, lots of things. And the map will give us our station. And I'm going to return. You can use ESX template strings here. It's going to return a paragraph tag with the station inside of it. So now let's see what this array looks like. So now it's an array just of paragraph tags, showing it to all of mine. And then I could run join on it with nothing inside of it because you don't actually want to use an array. You just want one big string of all the paragraph tags. There we go. And I could say document.inner or document.body.inner HTML equals fish free. Refresh this. And there we go. We've got a big list. Obviously, it's only one item. So I'm going to put that bang back on there. And you've got it. So a little bit of a fun uh, one. I'd love to see how other people uh, would finish it themselves, but I'm pretty happy with using filter, map, and join uh, rather than having to do some sort of loop myself.